No, the title isn't clickbait. I'm serious. Everything you see on my thumbnail, do not buy them yet. Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be an informative one and I want to help you guys not make the same mistakes that I've done. So I don't know about you, but when you hear the word sale, sometimes it can send me into a bit of a frenzy. Sometimes I just see sale or limited and I'm like, I got to get it. However, you can still buy what you want, save the money, but don't go overboard in your spending. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you eight really popular designer items from varying brands that you should wait, hold off before buying full price. We all know that Black Friday sales are coming up in about a week and a half, but even if it wasn't Black Friday sales or Christmas sales, all these items I've seen go on sale at various different times of the year. So today's video is proudly sponsored by ShopTagger. And for those of you that have been following me for ages, you know that I've used this app for over two years. It saved me so much time. It saved me so much so much money. I'm going to give you examples. And I know a lot of you guys are new to my channel. So for those that have been following me for a while, just bear with me, but I do have something really exciting that's new on the app. The reason why I partner up with them time and time again is yes, I've been using it for two years, but I also want to pass this information on to you. I mean, as a family, when you hear about a sale, you're like, you would tell your sister or your mom or whoever saying, oh, you know, so-and-so brands got 40% off or 50% off. And likewise, that is how I feel towards you. And I always get asked as well, Mel, how did you score that designer item at 50% off or 60% off? And as I said, guys, there's certain brands you can always save money on. There's certain brands you can't save any money on. But those that can, of course, I'll be sharing with you. So what is ShopTagger, Mel? ShopTagger is essentially like a smart digital shopping friend that knows all about the sales and will let you know if an item is in stock or it goes back on stock. And it does all this in real time. So I'm just going to go through a really, really quick tutorial. And for those of you that may have already downloaded ShopTagger, do keep watching because there's a new feature which is amazing and you want to see this new coupon page. So let's just go through that now. Okay, so I'm in my desktop now and you just type in shoptagger.com. If you don't have an account, you just press get started and sign up. It takes two seconds, but because I have an account, I am just going to log into my account right now. What I recommend you do first is to download the browser button and see this says get the button. You just click on that and then you see this green tag. You just click that and then what it does, it installs this little shop tagger button, see in black here. And that just makes it so much easier when you're going through your favorite sites to save items into your list. So I'm going to go to Net-A-Porter because Net-A-Porter is going to have mega, mega sales. I really recommend you start saving items right now because this sale is going to be huge. So I am going to be saving this cute Saint Laurent toy Lulu bag in velvet. So what you do, since I've downloaded that browser button, I'm in Chrome, by the way, guys. I, you don't really need to select a size here. And I want to be notified when there's any price changes. You can select 20 or 25%, but I want to know when there's any price changes. And then I'm going to add it to my bags list. I really recommend you organizing your list because it makes things so much easier. If I go back into Shop Tagger and if you look into my items, voila, there is the Saint Laurent Lulu bag. And let me just show you my list. As you can see, I've got it under accessories, bags, clothes, kids, and shoes, even fulfilled items. So these are all the items that I've saved previously and ShopTagger has helped me save money. Because what I love about this app is that it tells you when there's a price change. It tells you when things have, you know, are sold out. It tells you when items are back in stock, which I love. So see for these notifications, it sort of tells me all this. And as you can see, look at this. For those of you that have been following me for ages, check this out. There's a new coupon page. So you might not have been aware, but look at my coupon. You need to go to the desktop to view that. This is new. It is fabulous. It basically summarizes all the offers that are happening right now. And this page gets updated very frequently. So these are my most visited sites. So ASOS, you know, Farfetch, Louisa Via Roma, Nita Porter, Matches Fashion, and so forth. So this alerts you in real time. Often I have actually got alerted from ShopTagger before the store itself. So do check out this page before you buy from the site. So you can get push notifications by email. See, I've got a notifications button here. And if you want to know what stores that Shop Tagger is affiliated with, there are so many, like over 2,500. So didn't I tell you, it is 
so easy to navigate. So I highly recommend ShopTagger. I will leave the link down below. I highly recommend you guys download it. And also on your mobile, you can save items really easily. So I always have my notifications on because I want to be alerted when the sales are up and they do alert you in real time. And that's how I've managed to grab such good items in the past because of shop tagger so i had to share so as you all know black friday is coming up really really soon actually all the sales are coming up really really soon you don't just use this app just for black friday so what i do to ensure i get everything i want in my wish list and as you saw before i've got so many things on my list so the minute it goes on sale i'm like bang in my cart pay for it. And the popular items go really, really fast. So I'm going to tell you the ones that if you see these items go on sale, go for it straight away. And there's certain items that you can hold off a bit. And I'm going to tell you about those as well. And this is from sort of like years of going through all the popular sites like Net-A-Porter, My Teresa, Louisa Via Roma, um, Farfetch and so forth. Net-A-Porter sale tends to be really really big they only have two sales a year and the one on black friday i think they tend to do a few days before that's why i've saved so much on the net -porte list because things sell out so quickly guys last year the site actually crashed so i really recommend start saving everything and even have everything saved because that will give you a higher probability of getting what you want so number one what is something that always goes on sale which is none other than the balmain blazer guys I bought this full price. Admittedly, I did buy it in Paris. However, I saw maybe about six months ago, usually black doesn't go on sale, but I saw black actually did go on sale. So in the past, I only really saw seasonal colors, but still say black or white or those classic permanent lines because you still can save like say 30% off this. Even though I bought this full price, I don't regret it. It is such a well-fitting blazer. I know that there's dupes out there, but once you go Balmain, you can't go back. It's just beautifully cut and you just can't get the same on the shoulders. Now let me show you an example of my second Balmain blazer and it is this one here. It's in a gorgeous sort of light, very light pink color. So normally in Australia, this retails for about $2,500. I got this for $1,200. I mean, that's like 55%. So whenever these go on sale, they sell out so, so quickly. So if you don't know your size now, try it at your local store so that when it does go on sale, you can put it straight into your cart. Normally the ones that are seasonal colors tend to be a little bit more of a discount, but if you see the Black Balmain Blazer go on sale at say 30% off, it's still a really good deal because normally they don't go on sale. But yeah, if you are eyeing a Balmain Blazer, definitely wait for the sale. So all these Balmain Blazers and everything I mentioned in this video, I will link down below for you guys so it makes it easier. So once you download the ShopTagger app, just go to my links and then save it onto your ShopTagger list because the minute it goes on sale, Shop tagger will let you know next up are some shoes and these are the stuart weitzman thailand boots i love these boots for those of you that have been following me you know that i own three pairs i own the thailand which is the one with the block heel i own the highland which is you know it's about three or four inches and they also have a flat version called the lowland i don't know what it is about these boots i harp on and on about them but they just make your legs look so long they really just elongate your legs and guys i don't have the longest legs so i just love how they fit i have got this on my list as you saw i want these in black so i'm really hoping i can nab them this black friday for those of you that haven't tried stuart weitzman do try them they're my favorite boots and whether you like flats mid or high heels there's something for everyone but these ones sell out really quickly especially the thailand normally in australia they're about one thousand five hundred dollars i've picked all mine up for about 750 to 850 dollars so we're saving about 40 to 50 percent which i think is a huge saving so for all my northern hemisphere friends I know it's boot season now, definitely a great time to invest in these. So keeping on the theme of shoes, the third item that you should hold off, don't buy full price, are the Valentino Rock Studs. These have been popular for years and there are different heel heights. Mine is the 100 millimeters. They do come in kitten versions. They come in the cage flats. They come in pumps and also just flats. But I find these versions the most popular and for an 100 millimeter height, I actually can walk quite a few hours in these. The color that I have is in 
Poudre. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a beautiful nude. Mine's in patent. I also have a black pair in a grained leather. Tip guys, if you're going for leather, get the ones with the grained because they wear better than the smooth leather. If you want black or this nude color, the popular sizes tend to sell out very, very quickly. And I've seen them go for about 30 to 40% off recommended retail price. In Australia, these retail for about $1,290. However, I've picked all of mine bar one. I actually did buy one full price, but after that, I saw them all on sales. I'm like, I'm not buying full price again. And my other three pairs I've picked up between 30 to 50% off. And that is substantial. I mean, I think this pair I paid about $850 for. So you're saving like $400. So I do recommend you buying these, but you just don't need to pay full price. Now let's talk bags. This is a great time to buy a couple of brands because I've seen these bags go on sale. So first up is Fendi bags. Now Fendi released, I actually own this bag. I do own the Can I, but I have seen the Can I in the sort of scalloped versions and in the seasonal colors, they always go on sale. And it's not even just in the really bright colors. I've seen black, I've seen gray, all those go on sale. So if you are after one of those bags, the Fendi Can I, you know, I'll insert pictures up here or the By The Way bag, the Fendi Can I F, hold out for these because if there was a certain one that you really loved, but you're like, oh, I don't want to pay two, three, four thousand, they kind of go on sale during this time. I've seen them go for about 30, 40% off, which is a whopping saving. I mean, I kind of wish I held off on my Can I, but in saying that when I did buy my Can I, I was too eager and, you know, I bought it pretty much the month it was released. No regrets, I really do still love the bag. And I know a lot of you have been asking me about the Can I, I still recommend it, but now I just recommend you holding off because I want you to be able to save more money. So number five, which is a very popular brand at the moment is Saint Laurent bags. The Saint Laurent bags that I think that are gonna go on sale, so watch out, really save items from net a -Porte. Oh, by the way guys, if it's, I also got asked this question previously from Shop Tagger. If there's an item from Netaporte or My Teresa, you need to save it, the item from Netaporte and My Teresa, from, so from the different sites. So if I really want an item, I tend to save it from a few different websites. That's why you saw so many Balmain Blazers on my list. Probably I would say for Saint Laurent, it's so anywhere from sort of 30% upwards. Now guys, I'm not saying it's definite, but this is what I've seen in the past. The bags that I think you should look out for from Saint Laurent are the Lulu, the Sunset, and even some of the seasonal Kate bag. You guys know I own the Kate bag with the tassel with the faux croc print. I still really love the bag. I actually really like the placement of the YSL logo and the tassel. So if you actually see that, buy it because that is another one I bought full price because I didn't see those bags go on sale like two, three years ago, but now I'm kind of seeing more of them go on sale. Moving on to number six, this is a classic style and they are known for this and it is Burberry. This is the Sandringham trench coat. This particular line, the Sandringham, is permanent in their collection, but the one I bought, as you can see, it's not in the classic, you know, black or that sort of beige color, but by picking up seasonal colors, you can save about 30%. And, you know, normally the black and the beige don't really go on sale. But if you guys were after a Burberry trench, I think it's a great time to pick one up now or end of the year. So the one I have is in a beautiful mauve sort of pinky color. I actually really like this color. I do have another beige trench. So if you guys were looking to invest in your first ready to wear piece, I don't think you can go wrong with a Burberry trench. It's just classic. It's iconic Burberry. And you know what? It's not just online that goes on sale. Lots of Burberry stores do go on sale. Even if it's not Black Friday, I know they always have an end of year sale. It tends to always to be so popular. I always see a line, but yes, you can get Burberry trenches on sale. So we're up to number seven. So for these next few items, from my experience, I've actually held off and waited for the further 20 or 25% off. And for those of you that may not know, Netta Porter, Matches, My Teresa, Louisa Via Roma, so forth, so forth, they have their first round of sales. And usually, as I said, everything that I mentioned before, the first six items, if you see them, grab them first because it's gonna sell out. However, there are certain items that are a bit slower to move. 
So then they have and take an additional 20, 25% off the already reduced prices. So for these particular items, in my experience, I've waited and I've got an even further discount. And it was items that I wanted at the start of the season, but all you need to do is just wait. One of the brands which I absolutely love and adore, but I'm not gonna pay full price for, is Self Portrait. Self Portrait makes gorgeous items. You all know I'm a sucker for lace, I'm a sucker for floral, I love all that. The quality of the material that Self Portrait makes its dresses on and its tops, I just love. You can just tell it is a good quality item. The hand feels great, the density, the weight's good. And so I tend to pick things that I see them repeat season after season. You can't go wrong with a white dress and Self Portrait does this quite a lot. So for this particular item, Self Portrait dresses go for about four, six hundred, seven hundred Australian dollars. So this one was reduced and I think it was reduced take 30% off and then I waited for the take further 20% off sale so then I ended up saving 50% off and I got the dress for about I think original price was 600 I think I got it for just under 300 and another example I wanted to show you a top as well I love this so much I actually have it in two colors this was the one that I got from Matches Fashion and I waited so it was discounted I think this one was 40% off and then I waited and got a further 20% off. So I ended up getting this for like $130, which is really good for self-portrait, knowing that their retail prices for tops are like, you know, three, $400. So I've mentioned this before, but for those of you that are new, a trick that I do is during the sale, and I, as I said, I always monitor them. I add, for example, you know, my size, I'll try adding like eight. And if it's during the sale, there's still eight pieces. I kind of just monitor and check on it every sort of day. And I'm like, okay, there's still stock. And usually websites will let you know low in stock. The minute it says low in stock, then I would be like, okay, I better buy it now. I'm not gonna wait for the further 20 or 30% off. But at the time, if it's not saying that, I just kind of hold off, hold off, hold off. So that's why I've been able to get the self-portrait items in my collection for 50 to 60% off recommended retail price. So that's just a little tip for you guys. The eighth item you should hold off and don't make the same mistake as me are Fendi straps. Fendi straps are all the rage. Some of them are so popular at the moment. Let me tell you what Silly Mel did. When I got my Can I bag, I paid full price and I'm, you know, I still love this strap, absolutely love it. I paid full price for this, guys. I got sucked in because, as I said, remember I told you how I got sucked in because it's sale and it's limited? This was limited, apparently it was the only one in store. I'm kind of embarrassed to say how much I paid for this, but I think I paid like 1,007 or 1,008. I know, die, right? But it went so beautifully on my can I? This is what it looks like. See, it looks so beautiful, I just had to get it. But. To my dismay, I saw this a few months later on, I can't remember on what site, and it was take 50% off the mark price. And I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I just wait? And then from then, I've seen a lot of Fendi seasonal straps because they keep coming up with new ones every season. If you're after a Fendi strap, just hold off. Look, there may be a couple of styles, the really popular ones that may sell out, but just monitor them because for the most part, I think a lot of the straps do go on sale. The one that I waited for is this beautiful velvet strap. And it's even better because I can wear it this side as well. And it actually goes really well with my Hermes Kelly. So I think in store it's about like 1,400-ish. And guess how much I paid for it? I paid 470. And that is a really good price for a Fendi strap. I'm not saying it's cheap or anything, but I'm just saying for a Fendi strap because as you know, the Fendi straps retail between one to $2,000. That is such a good price. And you know, the funny thing is they ended up repeating this and putting it back to full price in store. So I was just really lucky. So do keep an eye out for Fendi straps. I think these are ones that you can just hold off a little bit longer on. So that is it guys. I really hope you found this video useful. I really want to be able to share this information because I want to be able to help you navigate through all the designer sales and start being prepared for the sales so that you get the items you want. I mean, who doesn't like saving time? But most of all, who doesn't like saving money? And this app has literally saved me 
thousands and thousands of dollars. So let me know in the comments below, what are you eyeing off in the sales? I would love to know. It's like friends chatting saying, oh, what do you want to get from the sale? What do you want to get from the sale? I know I love reading your comments. I really, really do. So if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to share this video with your friends or share my channel with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Big kisses. And I will see you soon in my next one. Bye.